Hello and welcome to another Alice uh, 3.1 video tutorial. Um, today we're going to be covering properties in Alice and it's going to be a really good lesson because properties are one of the most essential things in Alice. They're a way for you to communicate between your procedures, your uh, mini programs, so that they all behave as one cohesive main program and you're able to do uh, much more than you could otherwise. So let's dive in. I've uh, got my drawing program right here just to illustrate some stuff. So a property is a lot like a blank box. It's just something that holds something. In this case, it's, uh, it's called num1 and it'll hold a number like 5 or 6 or 10. You could also have them hold other things like uh, with letters or phrases or whatever. In our program, we, we want to add uh, two numbers. So we'll have our first blank box and then we'll take another one and we'll create that and we'll add the two together. So this will be a box that holds some number like five or six. This will be another box that holds a second number. And then we're going to add those two together and store that in a third property. Um, and then check that. So we'll, uh, in this lesson, we're going to add these three numbers together. Or we're going to create these numbers. And then in the next lesson, we'll do the, the add function, which adds these uh, together. Um, so let's go over to Alice and do that. Okay, so this is the program that we uh, created in the first tutorial or in the previous lesson. Uh, it's the first tutorial in this series, not necessarily the first tutorial that I'm doing on Alice. So we created this much and I told you that in between this you must answer the questions and you've won is where we're going to stick our program. And that's true. So first we have to create our properties and then we're going to drag and drop them right here. So just click on this or click on uh, anything that's like the floor or the wall or something and that'll bring up the this thing. Alternatively you could just click on this and go to the click on this. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create the properties for the whole program and so for that we're just going to go to this. You could create the properties pretty much in any object and they'd be accessible from anywhere else but you want to think about where's the most logical place to put the properties and since we're creating number one, number two, and answer and the whole program revolves around number one, number two, and answer because it's we're in the program we're adding numbers together what you want to do is put that on the highest level so that it represents uh, the numbers so that it, it, it represents more uh, where it's supposed to be since those numbers represent the whole program they should go in the top level or the this level so once you have this selected go over from procedures and click on properties eh, makes sense right <laughs> and then scroll down until you get to this add property button and for that click the add property button we come up with this uh, dialog box where we have four options that we need to fill the first one is it a variable or is it a constant just leave it the way it is where it has variable checked the second one is the value type what what type is it is it a letter is it a number so click on it and choose whole number whole numbers are, are numbers like 1, 2, 3, 10, 40 uh, they're not other numbers like decimal numbers where it's 1.2, 1.3 so choose whole number because we want to add whole numbers together give it a name in this case num1 and then give it an initial value the initial value really doesn't matter but they like us to choose something so just choose 0 and click OK and then you can see that your number your property for num1 is created here and that there's actually two things that were created one is the property itself and then one is a uh, uh, pretty much a procedure where you can choose what the value for num1 is so first off I want you to click this and drag it up in between the two bottom lines just let go 
and give it some initial value, say two, and you can see that what's happened is num1 now has a value of two, we've just set it. And then the next thing, I want to add two more properties. So I'll again choose whole number, call this one num2, set the value to zero, and just choose OK. Drag that one up, give it say a value of three. And then the final property is going to be, uh, again, it's a whole number, call it answer, and set the value to zero, choose OK. And then we're not going to drag that up yet. That We'll drag that up in the next lesson. Um, one more thing I want to cover in this lesson is why we're creating these properties, what they're for. So I've pulled up, or I have this, uh, this sticky that will kind of illustrate what's going on. So I could just have the teacher say, what is 2 plus 3? That would work. But what what makes more sense for the computer is to kind of set up a mad lib where we say what is blank plus blank and then each time we run the program instead of choosing just generic 2 plus 3 we actually choose a different number and plug it into this blank each time so let me show you how you would create a sentence like this in Alice where it says what is blank plus blank and then a question mark. So we're going to go over into Alice and if we were just doing this normally we'd choose the blue tang, we'd go over to procedures and we'd drag the say text in and type in a custom text what is 2 plus 3 with a question mark. Now to do it the way we want what we're going to do is we're going to take it, drag it up and just choose anything. So choose the default text that says hello. And then once you have this in here, click on the drop down arrow next to hello and go to this hello plus question mark. And then when it uh, asks you what you want to choose, just choose whatever. You could say choose answer. And then so notice over, uh, I'm going to switch back over. Notice that we had what is, that's kind of one section. Then a blank, that would be a second section. Then a plus and that's our third, then another plus, that would be fourth, and then this question mark. So we kind of break the sentence up into five different parts. So when I move back into Alice right here, we're going to have to do five different things. So we have the first part, then we have this placeholder, and then I'm going to click on this farthest to the right down arrow and go to the hello plus the second one plus a third, choose this answer, it's just a placeholder, and do that two more times where I go down, choose the hello plus this answer plus this answer question mark, and then choose this answer again, and then do it another time just so we have our five different things. And then you can click on the individual arrows for the, the things and change them. So the first one, I'm going to go to custom text string, and instead of hello, I'm going to type what is and then a space and then this uh, this answer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna click on this I'm gonna go to properties scroll down to where I created my numbers what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take num1 drag it into the second one for what is this number then I'm gonna choose the third click on it, go to custom text string and do space plus space and click OK. So now it says what is whatever the number one is, so num1 is two, so it'll say what is two plus and then we need to stick our second number here so I'm going to go over to this num2 and drag it up and drop it in here and then the final thing is going to be a question mark. So I'll click on that, go to custom text string, type in a question mark. Actually, I'll do a space and a question mark just so there's enough room and click OK. So now, when I run the program, the fish should say, hello, you must answer the question and then ask me, what is 2 plus 
three question mark because we have in num one we have two and three so I'm gonna run that and see if that works so two seconds of delay we zoom up fish appears he says hello you must answer the questions and then he asks what is two plus three and then he says you've won because we haven't added the rest of the game but so you can see how this works and what's cool is this really is a mad lib because right here I can change that to one and then when I run it instead of it just being him saying what is two plus three it'll update because I updated num one and when I run it the fish will appear and say hello you must answer the question and then at say what is one plus three so it actually works the way we wanted it to. So that's kind of a brief look at properties. It's a way where you can create numbers and then store them. And it's also a way where you can uh, have numbers, or you can have your properties in multiple different uh, procedures where they're in this procedure where they're talking to each other. It's a super valuable tool. This is just a brief look at it. To, to really appreciate that, we're actually going to use, um, use more of this in the next uh, lesson, which is where we actually do the addition. And that'll be a little more advanced, but it's definitely something that you don't want to miss. So uh, watch the third video, and we're going to cover a lot of how to do properties. So stay, stay tuned, and uh, thank you for watching this Alice 3.1 tutorial on properties.